For Freedom, the story of a French spy by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley is a gripping historical fiction novel which tells the remarkable story of Suzanne David, a young French girl who becomes an unlikely hero during World War II. This compelling tale is based on the true accounts of a real-life spy for the Allies, Suzanne David Hall, who was just a teenager when she was drawn into the clandestine world of espionage. The story begins in Cherbourg, France, where Suzanne lives a relatively peaceful life as an aspiring opera singer with dreams of grandeur on the stage. However, her life takes a dramatic turn when a bombing by the German forces severely injures her during a performance. The trauma of the bombing, combined with the stifling occupation of the Nazis, awakens in her a sense of patriotism and a desire to do something significant for her country. Suzanne's opportunity to make a difference comes unexpectedly when she catches the attention of Colonel Henri Navarre, a member of the French Resistance. Impressed by her courage and quick thinking, Navarre recruits her to work as a spy for the Allies. Despite the danger and her initial fears, Suzanne is determined to help free her country from the occupation and agrees to join the Resistance. Adopting the codename Suzette, she embarks on a perilous journey of espionage. Suzanne's youth and innocent appearance are her greatest assets, allowing her to move about fairly unnoticed. She begins by gathering information on German troop movements and fortifications, using her charm and wit to eavesdrop on the conversations of German officers and officials. Suzanne's work becomes increasingly risky as she is tasked with more challenging missions. She begins to courier secret messages and documents between members of the resistance, employing a range of clever techniques to avoid detection, such as hiding messages in her clothing or bicycle. Suzanne also assists in sabotaging German operations, engaging in acts of defiance that significantly hinder the enemy's progress. Throughout the novel, the reader witnesses Suzanne's growth from a frightened girl into a courageous and skilled operative. She faces numerous close calls and dangerous encounters with the Gestapo, the Nazi secret police, on several occasions, her quick thinking and resilience save her from capture and likely execution. A pivotal point in the book is when Suzanne helps to orchestrate the escape of several British soldiers trapped behind enemy lines. This dangerous mission underscores the high stakes of her work and the deep camaraderie that exists among those fighting against the Axis powers. She forms strong bonds with her resistance comrades, including her handler, Jacques, and another agent, Josette, who become her close friends and confidants. Suzanne's espionage activities are not without personal cost. The constant stress and fear take a toll on her mental and emotional well-being, and she must deal not only with the risk of death or torture, but also with the loss of friends and loved ones to the war. Despite these hardships, Suzanne remains unwavering in her commitment to the cause and grows ever more determined to see France liberated. As the war progresses, the stakes get higher and the missions more dangerous. Suzanne is sent into Paris, where the resistance network is in disarray. Her resilience is tested to its limits when she is betrayed and nearly captured. In a harrowing sequence, she narrowly escapes the Gestapo, forced to leave behind her compromised network and go into hiding. In the closing chapters, Suzanne's work begins to align more closely with the broader efforts of the Allied powers as they prepare for the liberation of France. She provides critical intelligence that helps to pave the way for the D-Day invasion, knowing that her information is saving lives and contributing to the eventual victory. Suzanne's dedication and bravery do not go unnoticed. She is honored by both the French and British governments for her contributions to the war effort. However, the end of the war does not bring an immediate end to her struggle. The emotional and psychological scars she carries are a reminder of the personal costs of warfare, even for those who survive. For Freedom, the story of a French spy concludes with Suzanne dealing with the aftermath of the conflict. Though deeply affected by her experiences, she finds solacity in the knowledge that she played a crucial role in the fight against tyranny. The novel ends with a return to a semblance of normal life, as Suzanne reflects on her journey and the sacrifices made for freedom. The book deftly portrays the harsh realities of life under occupation and the extraordinary heroism of ordinary people in times of war.
Through Suzanne's eyes, readers experience the courage, fear, and moral complexities faced by those who chose to resist. Her story is one of undaunted spirit and unyielding determination, serving as a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring fight for freedom. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.